camp. Uh, got here about mm, three o'clock. Got everything set up. Had to run to town get some get some stuff to eat. Uh, so we're here. Fix to go to sleep and uh, get up in the morning. And get after them. So I'm ready to go. We're supposed to have some good weather tomorrow and uh, the next day. So we'll see. Well, we got in the tree. It's 7.35. Uh, kinda got in a little late, cause we didn't really know where we wanted to go. Well, we had an idea, but we never been in the boat or up in this lake before. But we let it get light. We kinda rode around, looked, and we rode up in here to a spot we had walked to uh, when we come scouted about three weeks ago and uh, found some fresh sand, freshest sand we found matter of fact I've got a scrape right under my tree at deer hit looks like last night maybe it hadn't been hit much but it's been worked for sure definitely fresh because it rained night before last but you can see where we pawed it but uh, it's just kind of a it's this long bottom that runs out, runs into this lake. There's a steep ridge right up here that runs down and they're coming around it. There's a beaver dam, they're crossing back and forth. But uh, down in here we're probably gonna set about lunch if we can. Uh, the move time is uh, late this morning from like eight to 11. So we're gonna hit the move time good. But uh, it's just a nice looking little spot. We didn't have far to walk, so we in the boat. I found a bunch of rubs, fresh rubs coming in here. Uh, walking up here, so I just kind of followed them up till I got in this open spot and then I set up. Wind's good. Blowing back down to the lake. So we're gonna sit here a while and maybe see old big and
deer right there heavy deer man glad to kill this deer I mean that was just as a that's a great hunt this morning I tell you got in here a little bit later than you know what you'd want to got in here about 7 30 or so got everything set up move time was later this morning too but uh got in there set up and a couple does come running over this ridge over here and uh, now look, I could see this uh, uh, a deer. I don't. I'm not really sure if it was the same deer. Actually, to tell you the truth, because uh, when I first seen that other one, I don't remember these brow tines being this big. But uh, I, the deer I, I seen, whether it was him or another one, uh, I got to grunting to him uh, up on that hill, and I kept watching. And I was kind of looking around, watching, and all of a sudden I seen this deer standing right there in front of me, not far. And I said, oh yeah, look at that deer. And, I, and I, at first I didn't think it was the same one. I got looking, I said, man, that looks like a pretty good deer there. And he come up around, I could tell you, he had some mass to him. He's got some mass to him on both sides. I said, I don't know, I might shoot that deer. He got up there and just too good of footage. I said, I'm gonna shoot that deer. But I know there is some bigger ones over here, but he just, he, uh, he played the part, so. I said, I'm gonna take him, and that's what it did. He's an older deer, too. Big neck. Oh, yeah. That's a good deer right there. Well, I reckon I'm gonna get him uh, packed up and get on out of here, get in the boat, and ride on back. So, it's a good hunt. That's a good hunt. Mm -hmm. 